for decades, I've been trying to track down the rare footage of an obscure, locally broadcast Subway Sandwiches commercial from the mid-1990s. And now, through the tireless efforts of the Lost Media Wiki, some fellow YouTubers, as well as generous support from viewers like you, we've obtained the Lost Subway commercial at last. Hey kids, it's TV's Baron Von Brunk, and I'm here today with an exciting follow-up to a mystery I've been trying to solve since my very youth. You may remember a video that I released in early 2019 called Absurd Mysteries, a search for the Lost Subway commercial, in which I described my search for an obscure piece of lost media from the 1990s. This was an experimental video of mine that contained poor audio quality because it was recorded inside the attic of my old house. Also, it had some awkward close-ups, too. But nonetheless, this mini-documentary of mine covered my search for the elusive Lost Subway commercial from the 1990s. For those of you just tuning in, I'll briefly recap. Back around 1995 or 1996, when I was 11 years old in the 5th grade and living in my hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, our local TV stations would air a bizarre and comical commercial for the sandwich chain Subway. What was so special about this particular commercial was that it was poorly made. I'm talking, it was recorded on video, it used cheap effects, amateur actors. It had such poor quality that it seemed more like public access or like a local commercial you'd see for like a small business. You're gonna love our prices. For a hand drop by the mile, you can buy with a smile. Who can you call? Buy you know, like, because Subway's actual commercials were generally shot on film and, you know, had some sort of budget to them. This looked like it was recorded in someone's basement. <laughs> the commercial's plot was especially bizarre. It featured a fat, bald, middle-aged man groveling in front of an Indian guru called the Great Seer. The bald man asks the Great Seer to show him the way of truth and perfection, to which he is told to take his hunger to Subway Subs. Yes, Subway Subs. The commercial was so irregular that it just became somewhat of an inside joke amongst my friends and family at the time. Over the years, I searched extensively to find this commercial once again, but sadly could not locate the footage, despite scouring YouTube and Reddit to find obscure media and VHS transfers. Out of desperation, in early 2019, I created the previously mentioned mini-documentary about the search, which was accompanied by an actual stop-motion LEGO animation, which served as a reenactment based on my memory of the commercial. I created this in the hopes that it would go viral, and that maybe somebody would find the real commercial itself. Well, it worked. In early 2021, I was contacted by the Lost Media Wiki, who explained to me that they were featuring my search for the Lost Subway commercial in one of their On the Hunt campaigns to thoroughly search for this footage. Subsequently around that time, I was contacted by a Lost Media channel on YouTube called All Things Lost, which agreed to feature my search for the Lost Subway commercial in their compilation video for Lost TV advertisements. Several weeks went by without any new developments. That is, of course, until the middle of April 2021, when a random member of the Lost Media Wiki Discord server stumbled upon the actual Lost Subway commercial through an Instagram post. Apparently, this Discord user was following someone on Instagram named Vidiot Savant, who maintains an account for archiving obscure VHS rips, and this account coincidentally had an upload of the Lost Subway commercial in his feed. Subsequently, the Discord user saved the video, uploaded it to YouTube, and then sent me a message on Sunday night to break the urgent news that he found the Lost Subway commercial. At first, I thought it was a prank. But then I watched the YouTube video, and then I watched the corresponding Instagram post, and then I watched it repeatedly, and then I watched it repeatedly and laughed in joy. The commercial had been officially found after 25 years of being missing. Hell, <laughs> let's party. Immediately after watching the video, I promptly downloaded it and uploaded it to Twitter. And thanks to retweets from bigger channels like Blame It On Jorge and Rebel Taxi, this video link got plenty of exposure on social media. And now, without any further ado, I'm going to play both videos back to back. Of course, my LEGO reenactment followed immediately by the actual original Lost Subway commercial, so that you can compare the two and gauge how accurate my memory truly is after 25 years. Oh Great Seer, Oracle of Wisdom, Bringer of Truth, I hunger for perfection. Well, perfection can be yours. Take your hunger to Subway Subs. Subway Subs? Stop into your local Subway restaurant today and try one of our new mouth-watering sandwiches, each with freshly baked bread 
and an assortment of delicious toppings. It's the truth that our tasty meat selection consists only of the best variety. With each sandwich handcrafted and delightfully prepared, you can truly taste the perfection. Subway! Mm. Oh, great seer, vessel of wisdom, voice of truth, I hunger for perfection. And perfection can be yours. Take your hunger to Subway Sub. Subway Sub. There you'll find Subway's new roast chicken breast sub. Tender, succulent chicken roasted to the point of perfection. Nestled in an oven fresh roll. Graced with Subway's universe of extras and the zesty glory of Pace's Picante Sauce. Absolute perfection. Subway. Mmm. And there you have it, kids. As a lot of people pointed out in the YouTube comments, my accuracy is pretty spot on with the dialogue and pacing, but I definitely misremembered the mountain setting and the background colors. Probably what happened is I saw the fog effects originally, and over time my brain filled in the blanks and caused me to remember two men on a mountaintop surrounded with clouds. The montage portion was completely improvised by me. I had very little memory of it apart from the close-ups of sandwiches along with the dissolving perfection text. Now, I kind of correctly remember the awkward ending with the bald man eating the sandwich, but I had absolutely no memory of him biting the sandwich sideways like a complete lunatic. I mean, come on, that's just Doplik. Now, back to the montage portion. This part completely blindsided me. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever of the whole Pace Picante sauce promotion. Again, my memory of the montage was kind of fuzzy. As a kid, all I remember was sort of a generic montage of close-ups of the sandwiches, the bread, the meat, the toppings, etc. I had zero knowledge that they even did a promotion with Pace Picante sauce in the first place. With that said, I told some people on Discord that I have a theory that perhaps the commercial use interchangeable montage portions depending on region and promotions. For example, the specific commercial we found had a middle montage portion for the Pace Picante sauce promotion, whereas the commercial I remember seeing as a kid had a different montage in the middle to promote whatever new flavor or topping. If that's the case, then this truly opens up a whole Pandora's box of just how many variations of this commercial actually exist. There could be a few, or if not dozens, of variations of this commercial, which all feature the same footage of the two men, however the middle montage portion being swapped out with different footage, depending on the region or the promotion at the time. In other words, let's imagine there's a potential variation of the same commercial, but has a particular montage portion in the middle that goes along the lines of this. Subway subs! There you'll find Subway's new CHILI SANDWICH! Or not. You know, I could be wrong, and there could only be one version of this commercial, and it's the particular Pace Picante sauce promotion that we saw. Who knows? However, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility for different versions of this commercial to exist in different regions. As according to multiple people on Reddit, they recalled seeing this commercial broadcast in different parts of the United States as well as Canada. For you see, back in 2019, myself and several other people shared my original reenactment video on different subreddits like r slash tip of my tongue, r slash mealtime videos, and RBI, Reddit Bureau of Investigation. A lot of people were interested in finding the original commercial, but a few others claimed to have seen the commercial themselves, albeit in various American states and Canadian provinces, instead of just localized to central Pennsylvania like I did. What's even stranger is how some of them also distinctly remembered seeing the commercial for use with other sandwich chains like Mr. Sub and Quiznos. At that point, we came up with the possible theory that perhaps the commercial originated as a local advertisement from one of those aforementioned sandwich restaurants, but somehow the commercial got recycled for use with Subway, and they dubbed over some of the dialogue. Hence the whole Subway sub part. Another theory is that maybe whichever company filmed the commercial perhaps did multiple shoots with the same actors or locations similar to the commercials, each advertising different places like Quiznos or Mr. Sub, and that those variant commercials were all used throughout the country and even as far as Canada. Now, if that's the case, then there could be numerous other variations of this exact commercial's premise. Who knows? If anyone here on YouTube can remember seeing this commercial broadcast in places aside from central Pennsylvania, or for being used for places aside from Subway, please let us know in the comments. And you gotta help us! Well, the important thing is we found the real commercial, and I also disproved all the naysayers who assumed that my Lego reenactment was a bad viral marketing stunt by Subway to astroturf a new meme on social media. No. I guess, I guess to do some kind of cross-promotion with Lego and a new sandwich brand? Well, it obviously wasn't, but I digress. And believe me, 
Part of me kind of wishes that it was a real viral marketing stunt by Subway. Because at the time that I made that Lego reenactment in the mini documentary back in early 2019, I was actually in between jobs and flat broke. So, you know, receiving a check in the mail from Subway's corporate offices would have been wonderful at that time. Believe me. We've got to have money. And for the record, at the time of this video's recording, the total dollar amount that I've received from Subway's corporate offices for making the mini documentary and the Lego reenactment has been... Zero point zero. But anyway, I want to give a huge thanks to Lost Media Wiki for shining light on this subject and recovering the actual Lost commercial. Plus, I want to give a big shout out to the YouTube channels that actually covered my search in some of their videos, like Blaming on Jorge and All Things Lost. You can check out the links to their channels in the description below. And in conclusion, for the bald man, for the great seer, for the wonderful folks at Subway, for the hard-working ladies and gentlemen of the Lost Media Wiki, and for those of you on YouTube and Reddit who supported this search. Subway! Mm.